shadow of the mountain The lonely hero stands The memories flood the land Oi! Get too fat, so knock it off. I am overcome. I remember days of glory, silver. Toil and reason, hearts are crying out. But do you hear the sound of the static in your head? I am breathless. Oi! Knock it off, you two! Oh, no. Oh, no. He never answered. Ooh, Boston. Yeah, I like the Red Sox. <laughs> You hate baseball. <laughs> I love baseball. <laughs> you should pick Montana. Montana? Yeah, they got the mountains there. All right, I'll think about it. So Bledsoe is in the 800. Let's have him. Yes, sir. Let me run him. And you are? Gap tooth, sir. And who am I? Coach Jared, sir. <laughs> there they are. Hey, Mom, hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Bobby. You guys want some coffee? No, no, Coach said chemicals are no good for runners. Oh, okay. That's the boys in blue. Can you spell that like a bitch? <laughs> you do actually. Shut up. Oh, oh. Exceptional vocabulary, Bledsoe. I want this moron to repeat what he just said. Just say, whoa, 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 moron. Let's everyone relax with the language. A correct term is homosexual. Sickle is a homosexual. Schuler is also a homosexual. And proud of it. Very proud. Come on, babe. Oi. Coach. You can forget about that business. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let me run the 800. Whoa. Hey, that's, that's my race. I'll sprint out and hold him. Bledsoe won't know what hit him. Bledsoe's a tool, but you can't beat him. He ran a 4.10 mile last a year, half man. Half is too short for him. Got it from the guy over there. It's yours if you let me run. OK, deal. Might not want to be waving a joint around. <laughs> Use legs. Come on, let's switch out. Come on, we're the same okay. size. Come on. Coach is going to be pissed if you don't win. Shut up. I'm going to win. I'll Kevin, okay, stop. I'll be watching. I hate Bledsoe. I'm going to win. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to. All right. <laughs> Runners, take your mark. Set. Hey. Go, Kevin! Come on, Come on Kevin. I used to coach for this team, damn it. You are, sir? Bobby's about to take the lead, sir. They can't run that fast. Ride with me. I promised my mom. Come on, sweetheart, let's get you home. Please leave your phone on. Leave your phone on. 
Yes, ma'am. Did you tell my daughter you love her yet? Hey! Montana! So how do you guys feel about having your son as a new record holder? Best run you've ever had. Thank you. Bet you can't pass him before the bridge.
There's no rest for the wicked heart when the wicked light unfolds. The bitterness of a lover's heart. students left from your grade. They're closing, Carl. A number of schools have offered to accept you as a transfer. You think you ate enough for breakfast today? I'll make you something nice when you get home. Fine, Mom. I'll give you the full report. So your transcript tells me that you're real bright. But let's face it, Carton is better known for the 4-H program than for academics. Well, we are very proud of our sheep. See, normally I'd have to charge $2,000 for an out-of-district placement. But don't worry, I have an idea. Hey, send Coach K in. Coach? Ooh, oh, thanks. Hydrate. So. Coach K tells me you were a runner. Oh, yeah. Kevin holds the Carton County record in the 800. No, I didn't set any records. Kevin, we can find scholarship money for a gifted athlete. I didn't set any records. And I'm too old. Uh, you're eligible until the next summer. Okay, I just want my credits, and, and I want to graduate. You're That's gonna it. love this program. And you're going to be so surprised by the quality of our equipment. And for right now, we're just going to forget about the tuition. Welcome aboard, son. Hey. You don't know anything about me. First practice is Monday at 3. Yeah, my man. You run. Hey, that's their plan. Distance runners are crazy. See? No, I'm 32. Oh, so you flunk what? 14 years. You won't flunk me no matter how hard I try. They want to win on Friday. Joe Groom. I'm up. Here we go. 
Everybody. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see that frog. Rivet. 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 All right, here we go, guys. Uh, uh, get those hands up. Uh, reach it high. Woo! Feel what it's like to be alive. Reach it You're high. not even breathing. How many? Kevin. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, Coach K told us about the new runners coming in. What's the matter with that guy? Oh, well, allegedly, he uh, abandoned his family in Africa. You know, the secret police chased him out. But honestly, I just think he's from Kansas. Down to the ground! Oh. Out of ah! All right, here we go. Weird. All right, dude, back. All right, on your feet there, homo sapiens. Gather around, gather around my varsity team. How are you guys doing? Good. All right, listen, I'm going to wake you up here. We're going to do uh, seven three plus ones. That's 300 meters, about five seconds above race pace. And then uh, 100 meters cool downs. Cool? Ready? On the line, let's go. Set. Hey, Schuler, come here. Tough guy. Hold on, tough guy. <laughs> Stick out your tongue. Out, out, so I can see it. Good. So you run a couple miles now, your heart beats about 50, so you got the heart of a runner, but hmm. you're last and everything, so you're not even trying, huh? Well, maybe I suck. Nope, nope. You're, you're a gazelle, man. You're a cheetah. You know, some of my students, they come out here because it's gonna look good on their resume, which is fine, and then I got some students who should really take a golf or bowling, something they can drink beer while they're doing it because they're not going to amount to much as a runner. And then every now and then, nice pace, I get a runner who wants to dedicate themselves to the purest, the most natural sport there is. No bats, no balls, no pads. All you need for running is your heart and your soul. Greeks ran in the nude. Did you know that? Wait, this is getting Children weird. play tag. Horses race, dogs run for fun. Everybody runs, man. They like it, but not you, huh? Maybe I hate running. No. Mm -mm. All right, warm down at your own pace, okay? And stay away from the rest of my runners. And the first race is on Friday. So you got that to look forward to. Good. Smiles are good. Ready? Say hey. Ah. You know, distance runners are crazy, right? All right, let's go. Hey. What's in your head? Uh, commotion. No, that's cool. You got voices in your head. That's perfectly fine. Come here. No, I can't understand the music. <laughs> as long as they're saying win, because that's what you're going to do. Five, two, three, five, two, three, one, two, three, three, five, two, three, five. Here comes the boom.
to know where you be going Boy, when you reach the edge of the woods When the sheriff is around You know where to be found The fire in your legs The wind in your face The echo in the trees The whisper through the leaves The dark horse is coming yourself out. Looks like it's gonna rain. Is it gonna rain? I don't know. Oh, I love thunderstorms. I'm reading King Lear right now, and God, that scene when he's, when he's walking through that thunderstorm is just incredible. You should have listened to Cordelia. I'd be so much better if I trained with you. What's up to you? It's my birthday on Saturday. Congratulations. I'm having a party. You're invited. Well, I can't come. I'm busy.
Trainers here are crap. All they know is ice and tape. Can't you see someone? Some guys who's a doctor down in Hibernia. That's insurance. My dad will find out. Let's go. I saw Phil Sickle at the hardware store the other day. He was talking about that crazy go-kart you and uh, Bobby built freshman year. Bobby was a great kid. Never had to worry about you two. You never talk about him. Or Ellie. Why? I don't know. I don't know It's not an answer. Come on. I've got three more stops to make. Have we met? No, hi, I'm Henny Finch. I'm here to interview Kevin for the school paper. About what? His, his running. I'm, I'm not going to ask him anything about the accident. I mean, unless he wants to discuss it. He's kind of a quiet guy. Well, he never used to be. <sighs> Gary High is kind of a big place. It's going to take some time. How old are you? 18. 18 going on what? <laughs> Come on in, honey. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this lovely young woman is here to interview you. Hi. Well, I'll let you young people talk. I have to can preserves. Her mom's so cute. She buys huge cans of Walmart blackberry jam, adds lemon juice, and then puts them in bottle jars with her name on them. Well, that just makes me like her even more. <laughs> <clears throat> I texted you the other day, you didn't answer. The article, you know, Kevin Schuler, champion runner. A nut whose friends died. Oh, no, I wouldn't write that. Are you any good? Oh, yeah, I'm the best. How much do I get paid? <laughs> it's a school paper. I should get something. <sighs> you need a photo, too? <laughs> do you have a blog? What? Yeah. Maybe you could write a whole series. Now you're just teasing me. Hey, would you like some crackers and blackberry jam? Would no, you? no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Um, actually, I have to get home. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming out to the farm. What was that about? It's nothing. Dad. Coach. I already ordered for you. How long has this been sitting here? Well, she, she no, said they just Excuse come. me. I think it's a little cold. Kevin Schuler is a talent. I mean, the kind of talent that comes by once in a lifetime. A high school state champion, a college national champion. I want you to come on by and see him run. I want you to recruit him. I saw his time. Let's see if he can do it again. Relax the arms, Kevin. Relax the arms.
Happy birthday. What are you reading? I was reading Shakespeare. I had to stop, though. Why so? Because Cordelia just breaks my heart. One in a million. Wow. OK, consider it a down payment. We got to protect him. I'm getting a lot of calls already. Yeah, well, you know what? Tell them that because of the accident, he needs to stay close to home to be near his parents. OK, they're not going to question that. All right. Come here. Come here. What's this? What's this? I need you in here, right there. Feel that groove? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, feel it. That's it. Hey, you're right. Look, another one for the homosexuals. Get up there. Yes, sir. What does State want exactly? Uh, they're gonna take a look at that body of yours. They'll pay you. That sounded wrong. Yeah, that sounds illegal. No, no. That, isn't no, that no, illegal? No, 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 it's medical research. Don't worry, Rosie's a good coach. Get, co coach, head coach, Karen Rowan. It's Umber's daughter. And I'm pretty sure he wanted a son, so. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's good. She's got a good heart. Be. You run on a treadmill. Come on, that'll be fun. those all season? Since spring. What? Since spring. Doesn't Sam know enough to get you decent shoes? Uh. Take better care of my runner. Uh, well, he's not your runner yet. Don't try to wind me up like that. It doesn't even work anymore. Obviously, he's physically talented, but he's running his all nerves. He runs every race like his life depends on it. You can't coach that. Well, did you read the printout? His <sighs> VO2 is Olympic caliber. His muscle response makes him ideal for the mile to 5K. Nobody can screw that up. Understood, coach. You have to tell me if you're hurt. How am I going to know if you don't tell me? Hey, what were you two arguing about? <sighs> Nothing. We can just go back. Oh, come on, man. Oh. I got you some new shoes. No, no, no. I, I have shoes. And now you have new shoes. I don't want new shoes. Well, you're going to get them. Homo sapiens were not meant to run on concrete. 
Look at the Kenyans. They run on dirt and grass every chance they get. You have to take care of your feet. You have to take care of yourself. I can't even put these on yet. Let me get something else. Here you ran over 17 minutes on that course. How do you drop off a minute and a half, huh? What are you doing? You blood doping? Hit me. Come on, hit me. You'll feel better. Hit oh, is that all you got? I think you could do better than that. Do you even know why? Why should I hit you? Your dad got you into running when you were what? Eight? He held you back here in high school just so you'd be the best runner in the state. You spent years eating, breathing, and sleeping running. And they just kicked my ass back to high school. And here I am, just a nobody, ruining your daddy's plans. So come on, hit me! Chicken shit, hit me! Crazy. You hungry? Will you, um, let me follow you around for the article? You're running, your life, you know. You're kind of inconsistent. Well, consistency's the hobgoblin of little minds. Foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds. <laughs> you know, I just read Emerson in AP English, and now you're quoting him back to me? Why do you take those jock classes, huh? Well, that's where Umber put me. Yeah, that's where Umber put you. OK. God, sometimes I just want to strangle you. We're reading The Great Gatsby this week. You know how he has his, um, I guess, schedule? His improvement exercises? You know, I think of you when I read that. And you act so aloof that you try harder than anyone. 
Why? There used to be an elm over there. You know, Bobby and I, we built a tree for it, but somebody, somebody cut it down. Bobby Sickle. B.S. He wrote his initials on your shoes. They're his shoes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bring up bad memories. You know, when I read about the crash in the papers, I thought it was the most awful thing I'd ever. Where were you? I was out. I found the check from the university. $3,000 is a lot of money. I'm doing physiological testing for them. Are you allowed to do that? The coaches say that it's fine. Are they testing what you're thinking? No, because I'm not doing psychological testing. I'm doing physiological testing. I know what testing. the word means. Look, you're getting straight A's in school. Your running is amazing. You just, you never bring any friends over anymore. Mom, I'm not gonna dress in all black and bring that shotgun to school if that's what you think that's I'm doing. That's not what I meant. I just don't know what's going on anymore. That's because I don't want to talk to you. Or dad, I, I don't want to talk to anyone. You know, the polite thing to do would be to write the university a thank you note. I wrote the address and I put a stamp on it for you. Worse since they fired. Nothing to do but bitch out my head. Oh, sorry. It's all good. Come on. One more. Picture your dad. Read that to me. Kevin Schuler reads scientific journals as well as Emerson and is a model of fitness and good looks. You can keep going, please. He also admits to having shin splints, tendinitis, and gastrointestinal disturbances. This is stupid. Why do I have to read this here? Are you hurt? Well, it's supposed to hurt. Running is the highlight of my day. If I have a bad day, a good run saves it for me. What are you doing? There's good pain, and there's hurting yourself. Go home. Stay there. No running for two days. I don't want to see you until Friday. Key on Kevin and stay ready. This is a hilly course, all right? Everybody else is going to be gassed. And that last long hill, that's where we attack. 
That's where we win it. So let's go on out there and get us a state championship. Give me a Gary on three. One, two, three, Gary! Fights on three, fights on three. One, two, three, fire! Here goes the boom! You see the creek? I hear you're no good with rivers and such. Keep the team together, all right? Hey, help each other out. Get in here, get in here. We can win this thing, okay? On three, give me a woohoo! One, two, three, woohoo! Woo yeah! Ready, set! Association recommends disqualifying both oh. runners for poor sportsmanship. Official Bledso, this is a big pack. You know there's gonna be some bumping. Come on, you can't make that call. It's a state championship. Run the race ten times, nobody will beat him. You have anything to say for yourself? I'm guilty. Well, just a gosh damn minute. He doesn't know what he's saying. He can hardly oh, breathe. Shit. Come on, you've got no oxygen. Come on, go. Good job, son. Congratulations. <laughs> Why did you run him down? Because you deserved it. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I mess up our package deal to state? 
What are you talking about? If I run for Rowan at State, you're hired. Right? You think I don't figure this shit out? I don't really care about that, man. I just want you to be able to see what you have. There's a hundred runners out there who would kill for an ounce of your talent. Oh, that's great. That's great they're out there. Why don't you go find them? Why don't you work it out with them? OK, tell me what they decide. Here, take this. Take it. It's 20 miles. Get in the car. An easy 18. First you ran the boy down, then you bragged about it. That state championship was yours and you threw it away. What were you thinking? You don't want to explain yourself, huh? Oh, you don't have to explain yourself to your teammates why you lost them the state championship, huh? You don't have to explain yourself to Coach Rowan why her star recruit was disqualified. The good Lord gave you You don't have to explain yourself to everyone within 50 you miles of this You are not a wild school. animal in the woods. Do you care about anybody? You care about anything? This silent treatment is not real original, Kevin. I decided that Coach K can't handle you. I'm going to be your coach from now on. You can't fire Coach I'm K. I'm the principal of this school. I'm the head coach. I can do what I gosh damn want. I won't run for anyone else. I'll quit the team. spot on that, uh, it will come back to haunt you. So why are you here, man? Because I blew it. Umber wanted to fire you because of me. Ooh. Really? All he told me was that you were stubborn. And I was like, a stubborn Kevin Schuler. that's not somebody I know. Principal Umber. Yeah. You want to tell me what happened out there? Uh, I let you down. Well, young man, it was an impressive screw up. Next time, why don't you just tell me about it before you do something like that? Hey, coach. I want to run faster. I want to beat everyone. And I'm not running for anybody else. Who's she? Okay. 
That is the uh, only woman who was nuts enough to almost marry me. I mean, she was a runner. Together, we went up to Boundary Waters, pitched a tent on an island, spent the summer running around like a bunch of naked hippies. So what happened to her? You know, we spent all our time together. We were training together. We were living on love. I didn't need any more than that. All the stuff I could fit into a backpack was good for me. And uh, two weeks before our wedding, she ran off with a rich guy and called me a loser. <laughs> Which I was. <laughs> Her marriage only lasted a year. I kind of count that as a consolation prize. And then she got a job uh, coaching at Gary. I'm going to make us some more burgers. A Gary? That's Coach Rowan. <laughs> what? And by the time I got back, she had moved on to state, and she got me the job at Gary. <laughs> what do all those counselors tell you? It's a nice segue, Coach. I read the file. What did they tell you? They said that I'm fine, that I'm normal, that I'm average. They were full of shit. <laughs> Pretty much. So I run. You know, because like you said, running saves a bad day. You get a lot of bad days? This great man, he once said that most people die with their music still in them. And you got a whole orchestra inside you. If you really want to run, Tim Danielson and Marty LaCorey, 359, Jim Ryan, 355, Alan Webb, 353, that's your competition. And they didn't spike somebody because they were mad. They were focused. You go easy this week. And then we will talk. I can't believe you actually asked me out. Well, I wanted to show you the beautiful downtown carton. Mm. Here we have the, we have the post office. We have the hardware store, and, and this is just the best ice cream in town. Actually, it's the only ice cream in town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starved all the time. Well, here, take mine. Oh, okay. You can have it, really. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're God. singing, it's, um, you're, uh, it's good. No. What, what is that? I, is that like some kind of jock thing? I always see basketball players do it and stuff. Well, and track stars. You're right, yes, <laughs> and track stars. No, it's, it's like, um, it's like it's from the heart. Or, I have heart. I have heart. So wait, you're, you don't have to be a, a jock or anything to do it? No. Which white girls could do it too. Oh, really? Okay, so you give me permission? Oh, yeah. You knock yourself out. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yo. <laughs> Scored with Henny. Been there, done that. Don't phone or nothing. Just call me a rat. Look, I... I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. And, and that's actually why I asked you out. Oh, so this is an apology date. Look, I, I'm sorry. I really love your singing. 
Oh, it's no compliment. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> you mean it? You're really. Really, really. I forget everything when I'm singing. Probably the same way when you're running, right? It's my own world. Yeah, you're so disciplined. I'm not disciplined. Oh, yeah, you're always running. No, it's not. It's not discipline. I, I run because I have to. I feel something when I run. It's like breathing. So I have to run every single day. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> um, do you guys see the hair salon? <laughs> Man, so happy. He's already bought a bunch of bulldog hats. How do you feel? Weird. You know, it should feel great, right? Play some ball, child. It's all real now. <sighs> My knee's worse. If they find out about it. Like if they find out about the shit that goes on in my head. <laughs> Praise Jesus, you must screw it up than I am. <laughs> African time. I mean, seriously. Okay. Hi. Coach. Coach. Where do you want to? Yeah, here. Okay. It looks like. Come, I'll bring Here's this. That. You want a coffee? Uh. No. Well, here is Kevin's spring training schedule. Okay. Huh. Two race days, one tempo. This is a uh, state workout. Well, the consistency is going to be good for him. Well, I need to see how he feels each day. You let him do whatever he wants. I don't coach like this. All right, well, you were never one for long-term plans. <laughs> coach, I'm getting a lot of calls from other schools. You've seen the offers. He can go anywhere he wants. Are you serious? What, are you going to drive him to the airport, too? How long have we waited for an athlete like this? He's not going anywhere. Coach, he'll listen to you. Sure. Hi, good. How are you? It's beautiful. It's a bribe. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> okay. It, you know, uh. Is this even legal? Uh, apparently it is because of the stuff you're doing at the university, I guess. Uh, I don't, you know, you can get it, use it to go to and from school. Probably make things a little bit easier. Yeah, you run everywhere. If I don't drive you, it's not safe. There you I've go. been telling you to get a car. So. You're the delivery boy. Don't talk like that, Kevin. No, 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 it's OK. Yes. Yes, I am. That's my job tonight, delivery boy. Well, do you agree with this? <laughs> do you? Nope. <laughs> Have a good night. <sighs> I'll see you at practice, OK? Yeah. Good night, Mrs. Schuler. Good night. I think I want to take this thing racing. <clears throat> Here, could you take this up to the door? It's for the church. Thank you.
Hi. Hi. Where's your cute mom? Uh, she, she left. Oh, bummer. <laughs> come in, come in. Oh, uh, you know, no, no I'm, no, uh... No, 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 no. No, no, I gotta, no, um... Hey, Kevin, come in. Seriously. Okay. Thank you. So, this is the kitchen. You can place your stuff right oh. here if you want. Just put it right here. Green punch. Hey, what's up? All right. Right. Um, drinks. If you want any, you know... Oh, cool, cool. Make up some concoctions or whatever. Hey, how are you? Um, so, cool. Wow. Yeah. Hey guys. What's up? Joel's somewhere, I think. Oh, yeah? Hey! Now the party's starting! Oh, 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 I don't drink. So. Oh, you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. Man, shut up and come on. Come on. Kevin Schuler. Rye Bledsoe. You know, I'm um, screwing two girls from your school. Oh, congratulations. That's, uh, that's, wow. You seen anybody? No? I'm just asking. Hey, look, you know, um, Dennis is a real asshole for spiking you. And, um, my dad never should have disqualified you. And he's a real asshole. Yeah, it runs in the family. You know you didn't beat me that night in Bryceville, right? In Bryceville? That wasn't you. Oh, yeah, I knew that. But everyone thinks it was me. Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> everyone thought I beat you that That's time. That's funny. That's yeah. Funny. You know, I've got the, the country mile record. I got the 1500. Got the 3,000. I beat you in an 800, easy. Yeah, probably. Kevin, I'm gonna kick your ass in track. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you're slow. Okay. I think I'm faster than you. Okay. I think you're drunk, too. I also think you need a little bit more hair gel. It's water. Hey, that's a nice shirt. Maybe you should unbutton it one more. I think I look good. Think so? I like the look. It's good, Hasselhoff. Yeah. Real good. All right, good talk. See you out there. Can you feel that? Does that hurt? <laughs> it's a, that's a good question. <laughs> I wonder about Ellie. Yeah, I, I don't really remember her. If you don't remember her, maybe that means you didn't love her. She, she's dead. Kevin, I'm... I'm here. Do you want to know about Ellie? Yes. She was... She was perfect. Everything about her was perfect. Throw the party. Thanks. What did you say to her? None of your business. You don't think you know what cares, do you, asshole? Would you just call me? You heard me? What's up with him? I could hold my breath longer than you. You're crazy. That's what I like about you.
two out of three. <laughs> what? Tell my daughter you love her yet. Help me run faster. Hey, man, come sit down. Okay, look. A four-minute mile at the Spring Invitational, that would mean something. You don't think about running right now, okay? Look, I have to remember. You have to remember what it's you... It's Jared you... and Bobby and Trolley and, and Ellie. I, look, I, I, can't, I can't breathe without them. Okay? And when I run fast enough, I could see them. I could find them. So I'm just asking you to help me run faster. You dream about them? Yeah. Yeah. So you can help me? Listen, OK, there aren't many people who could deal with what you have been through. You're really strong, and that does not make it easier. You don't know how to ask for help. I'm asking for help right now. So if you don't think I could do it, why don't you just no, tell it's me? it's not that. All right, why a four-minute mile? Well, isn't that what everybody wants? We'll make a splash. It'll be a win-win. Then we'll both go to state. Hey, don't you dare pin this on me, you little prick. You promised. You promised me that you would teach me what you know. I said that I would teach you running. I don't think... That's what I want! I don't think that's what you need. And by the way, you've never run a mile in competition. You're setting yourself up for failure. It's, it's not healthy. You don't have enough of a base. <laughs> I ran 120 miles this week. I averaged 100 miles through the fall. I have a base. <sighs> Whoa! I thought you were joking. Why? Because this is what I do. This is me. You haven't done any speed work. We have four weeks. I could do it. I could do it if you just help me. This is a maybe. What are we doing here? Old track will be easier on your legs.
This is weird. Come on. <laughs> okay. We're gonna run 10 400s, two to four seconds above race pace. Okay? With 400 cool in between. Let's go. Come on. What are you waiting for? Let's get warmed up. And her and my dad. No man beat you. Let's take it easy. They want you to pull a test. Hey, hey, hey. There's running around in circles, and there's smart training. Let's focus. Focus? Let's focus. Burned on that one. Oh, yeah? uh, What's in your head? What are you thinking? Nothing. That's good. What do you want? I want to run faster. Your heart, look up at me. Your heart. Most important muscle you got in your body. Never rests, but it remembers everything. You run with your heart. You run with your heart, OK? 10 more quarters now. 10 more? That's crazy. That's like two and a half miles. Hey, you got endurance, but endurance doesn't mean anything. And you got speed. Speed is a fart in the wind. I need your body to know that you can run at this pace, that you can do it in your sleep. I need your mind to know it. I need your heart to know it. We're training for one race. Four weeks away. I don't care what you feel like tomorrow. This, right now, is the test. So let's see what you got, hot shot. Finish strong, y'all. Finish strong. Let's go. Finish strong. Harder than any mile you will ever do. <sighs> Ten more. <laughs> no, no, you're done. You passed the test. Oh, extra Enough. credit. You rest, old man. You can stop if you want. He's at it, kill him. Hey, come here. I want to show you something. What? Come on, Speedy. Yeah, you need a wheelchair? I'm in. I'm in. Ooh, 
How fast is it? I don't know. I feel like corporate meat. <laughs> I want one. It's yours. What? Take it. Stop playing. Here, drive up to Ibernia. See that doctor. <sighs> Send me the bill. Your sugar daddy. All right, Mr. Moneybags. <laughs> Start hanging out with you more often. Hey, Mr. Sickle. Hey, Kevin. Hey, cut on him. Stick there. How's that big school treating you? Can I get by? I've been reading about you. I'm happy to see something good coming out of Carton. When the pond freezes over, I'm gonna put the hockey nets back out like you and Bobby used to. What do you think about that? Sure. What are you doing right now? I'm on a run. You wanna take just a little break? I wanna show you something. Yeah. Okay, Let's sit go. down. See this. I like it when out here when the wind howls a little bit. You remember that go kart he built? Burned alcohol, it went like 500 miles an hour. <laughs> the kid could build anything. It'd have been better if you'd been here to help me. Go ahead, you can go in. Bobby stuff. See that blue glass? It keeps bad stuff away. You always be safe in here. You beat him at the invitational now. Bobby, you'd like that. I promise. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go to state. I decided that. You came all the way over here to tell me that? Have you ever thought about going someplace else? A Montana, maybe, yeah. Or we also thought about Boston. We, right? Are you even gonna call me next year? Such an asshole. I am an asshole. No, but that's the thing. You're, you're not. Okay, I should go. Well, let me just drive you home. No, okay. no, hey. I'm good.
You sold this place out. How you feel? They'll get their six bucks worth. Go win this race, boy. Ben 1600, runners out of the track. Sponsored by Watson Party Four. What's in your head? I can see it. Focus on pace first half. My race begins third lap. Your race. They're not your competition. Run your own race. You'll do something marvelous. When your left shoulder is clear, you are free to break to the inside.
love you.
Just because Just because